Josie and the Pussycats were the quintessential teen rock band of animated cartoons. Spinning out of Archie Comics and traveling the globe to spread their music far and wide, the only way the animated series could top itself was for Dan DiCarlo's little girl to take the show to a whole new level. Josie and the Pussycats in Outer Space didn't get an origin episode to launch this new endeavor. It didn't need one. The show's musical intro ingeniously did this in just a couple of beats, showing how a photo op for a space launch went all awry when Alexandra pushed her way to the front of the group, knocking them all into the rocket's cockpit and accidentally pulling the launch lever. Now they careen through space, looking for a way to get back home. Oh, and none of them know how to drive the ship. Viewed with more than a seven-year-old's knowledge of space, uh, the show must be forgiven much. Uh, they never seem to leave the solar system, passing by Venus once, which, cosmologically speaking, is really just right next door. And they even zip by Earth in one episode, but fail to engage the retro rockets. This doesn't stop them from landing on several other planets, uh, which must be nearby and are definitely inhabited by strange life forms. And it's probably a good thing, too, that they didn't get back home, because nearly every planet the Pussycats do land on seems to be ruled by someone intent on invading the Earth unless the gang can put a stop to the evil machinations. The space travel motif was a surefire hit with the Saturday morning crowd in 1972. We were still sending men to the moon at the time, so space travel was still something at the forefront of everyone's minds, especially those with bigger imaginations. This sci-fi sequel to the original series retains the irreplaceable voice cast of the former show, uh, with Janet Waldo playing the title role of Josie, Jerry Dexter as Alan, Barbara Perriott as Valerie, Jackie Joseph, whom you right remember from the original Little Shop of Horrors, as Melody, Sherry Alberoni as Alexandra, and radio legend Casey Kasem as Alexander. The series also introduced a new space pet that joins the team in the first episode. Bleep, voiced by Don Messick, because who else are you going to get, uh, was a sort of a spuzzy space schmoo that could do just about anything a cartoon blob could do, from emitting eye rays to stretching out and changing his shape as needed. Through 16 episodes of hijinks, the team gets captured and imprisoned by villains who have mastered magnetic powers, duplication powers, sun-extinguishing technology, de-aging rays, and various other world-conquering schemes. The episodes are about 20 minutes each without the commercial breaks, and with no special features to dig into afterward, the entire 16-episode Blu-ray collection can be binged in a single day. Featuring simple but fun plots and a soundtrack of groovy, funky harmonies, this is one slice of nostalgia that doesn't get stale when you revisit it.